Behind me at Cadence Apartment Complex, a beautiful memorial has gone up with candles, balloons, flowers, and a large number of people from the community, his friends, came out to celebrate him. They say what has happened to him is simply a tragedy. Caden was an amazing friend. Like He was a brother to us. We were like three best friends together. And he was taken away too soon. Caden's friends Dominica and Lily helped to organize the candlelight vigil outside of his door. There were many tears tonight, along with fond memories of the 12 year old. We would always joke around. He he was the clown of the group. Together, they are all struggling to understand why his own mother, Amy Robertson, is accused of taking him from them. He was one of my best friends. <laughs> I just can't believe his mom did this to him. Friends say there were a few signs anything was amiss. And was full of energy and a happy person, so this came as um, a big shock. Yeah. He seemed really happy with, with his mom. Yeah, he, his mom seemed like a great person. She really did. And we would go to his house, hang out, watch TV with him, you know, just chill with, his, with him and his mom. Neighbors who didn't want to be fully identified told us his mom, Amy Robertson, emerged from her apartment Saturday, shouting and swinging her arms, even talking about demons. I went out there and I told her to calm down. She said, OK. I said, where's your son? She said, in the house under the blanket. First, the neighbor checked Caden's room, but there was no sign of him. When she went into the living room, she made a disturbing discovery. I went in the living room and there was a recliner tipped over and he was halfway on it under a blanket. When I pulled the blanket back, I could tell he was gone. I tried to wake him up. He wouldn't wake up. And I ran out of hand calling the ambulance. When she ran from that apartment, calling to other neighbors to dial 911, Robertson turned to her and said, I told you not to move the blanket. Police told us Robertson was cooperative when she was taken to the station for questioning Saturday. She's now charged with murder. Her mugshot showing her in a protective vest, the kind typically used for inmates who might otherwise hurt themselves. One neighbor tells us there may have been one warning sign. She says Caden had called his aunt as early as the day before the incident, asking her to come get him from the home. They just seem so close. Like, I don't know why she would do this. You just can't look at his mom the same as you used to. One participant in tonight's vigil also gave a prayer for Caden's mom. She will next be in court on Tuesday. In Kaiser, Jennifer Dowling, Coin6 News.